Glad to meet a cool wildlife enthusiast. Congratulations! Hope you will enjoy this video. Please don't forget to share it with friends. The Andean condor is a South American bird in the New World vulture family Cathartidae, and is the only member of the genus Vulture. Found in the Andes Mountains and adjacent Pacific coasts of Western South America, the Andean condor is the largest flying bird in the world by combined measurement of weight and wingspan. It has a maximum wingspan of 3.3 meters and weight of 15 kilograms. It is generally considered as the largest bird of prey in the world. It is a large black vulture with a ruff of white feathers surrounding the base of the neck and especially in the male, large white patches on the wings. The head and neck are nearly featherless and are a dull red color, which may flush and therefore change color in response to the bird's emotional state. In the male, there is a wattle on the neck and a large, dark red comb or caruncle on the crown of the head. The female condor is smaller than the male, an exception to the rule among birds of prey. The condor is primarily a scavenger, feeding on carrion. It prefers large carcasses, such as those of deer or cattle. It reaches sexual maturity at five or six years of age. One or two eggs are usually laid. It is one of the world's longest living birds, with a lifespan of over 70 years in some cases. The Andean condor is a national symbol of Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, and plays an important role in the folklore and mythology of the Andean regions. It is considered vulnerable by the IUCN. It is threatened by habitat loss and by secondary poisoning from carcasses killed by hunters. Captive breeding programs have been instituted in several countries. The condor soars with its wings held horizontally, and its primary feathers bent upwards at the tips. The lack of a large sternum to anchor its correspondingly large flight muscles physiologically identifies it as primarily being a soarer. It flaps its wings on rising from the ground, but after attaining a moderate elevation it flaps its wings very rarely, relying on thermals to stay aloft. Charles Darwin commented on having watched them for half an hour without once observing a flap of their wings. It prefers to roost on high places from which it can launch without major wing flapping effort. Andean condors are often seen soaring near rock cliffs, using the heat thermals to aid them in rising in the air. The proportion of time for flapping is more for short flights. Flapping between two thermal glides is more than flapping between two slope glides. It is a scavenger, feeding mainly on carrion. Did you like this video? I will look forward to your next visit pretty soon. Take care. Also, please add your comments.